Insan kuli jua zamra injil des. Ini se video letas bawal. Very important code that me me help us, every one of us, to save our friend, our families, and our own lives. That may include properties and continuity of our mission. So this is what we call in the PA 101, and uh, it is called actually Life Safety Code. So in the PA 101, Life Safety Code is a reference standard by the Public Act 9540, which is the fire code of the Philippines, with its uh, latest uh, RI, RR of 20, I think 2018, I think 2018, if I'm not mistaken, that is 2018 or 2019. So I think that is the IRR date, 2018, but uh, until now, until as of the moment, we have yet to, to implement the IRR in the Philippines due to the pandemic. Okay, so. It was uh, twice or thrice extended, suspended uh, its uh, implementation. So up to this uh, moment. So I'm your uh, professor, Dr. E.P. Zantua. I am a civil engineer, electrical engineer, industrial engineer, mechanical engineer, and PhD. I am a uh, former uh, Japan government scholar, took up BSME in Polytechnic University of Japan. Okay. So let's uh, go with our discussion. Uh, we have another page for uh, the career highlights of the professor. <laughs> okay, so. So experiences, I am a former uh, faculty of uh, engineering in UP Los Banos. I am a former uh, uh, assistant general manager of a Japanese company located uh, in uh, EPSA in Laguna Techno Park. I am a uh, Previously, a uh, production engineer in Japan for uh, about uh, four to five years. I am uh, previously an industrial market uh, product engineer of steel corporation. So, also a uh, 16 years of teaching experience of different engineering disciplines, ranging from civil, mechanical, electrical, and uh, industrial. And as an achievement, uh, I think uh, I uh, passed the, the only one who passed the Japan government scholarship in engineering. Uh, during my batch, my batch year to study engineering in Japan, I also passed five different board exam in the Philippines. I am a qualified engineer in Japan and qualified vocational teacher of different, four, actually four different specialty, which uh, is mechanics mechatronics, thermal, uh, uh, term, thermal uh, process, uh, and uh, plastic deformation. And also, uh, 
I am the only one who uh, passed four different PRC board examination. Four. Four of them within six months. So I am educated in several uh, institutions from Bicol University, Polytechnic University in Japan, Tanking City University, Perpetual Health uh, University, and uh, I think many others. Okay, so because of several um, bachelor's degree, I also have master's degree and doctorate degree, PhD degree. So, so we have the highlighted past four PRC exam in six months and I am what renewing my uh, license every three years and one time last year uh, my uh, social media post of uh, CPD requirements and renewing five uh, PRC licenses became, became viral okay so it uh, started with social media social media references from different uh, regional provincial uh, media groups and also from uh, korea uh, Korean movie media group. Okay, so I think uh, the uh, mainstream media were able to to observe the viral post and was able to contact me and also uh, made some uh, presence or uh, mainstream media as uh, being interviewed by several uh, popular anchors. Okay, so that's uh, all with this. Let's go to the topics. Okay. So we have uh, topic objectives broken down into four main uh, sections. So we have the introduction general requirements and occupancy classification. Number three, means of egress. Number four, features of uh, fire protection. So in this uh, uh, training, we have a 70% passing evaluation exam with 10 items, 20 minutes after each module. So, this uh, four modules we are where we uh, have prepared exam with ten items each, and uh, those will pass the seventy percent passing requirement. Will be given a certificate. <laughs> okay, so uh, we need to what? So that means we need to listen. Okay, so NFPA 101 book looks like this. That's on your monitor. And we are now going to start with the introduction part one module. This module has uh, five components code organization, core chapters, occupancies, annexes, and how to navigate the code itself. So, while on uh, module number two, which uh, talks about general requirements and occupancy, we have code SPA, which means uh, scope, purpose, and uh, application, together with equivalency and general okay general provision and uh, we also have uh, occupancy classification 
and uh, number eight, hazard of contents. In uh, part three, module, let's talk about uh, means of egress. We will uh, discuss number nine, elements of means of egress. And number 10, calculation of occupancy loads and number of exits. And number 11, options in travel path, disruptions for common path of travel. Okay. So meaning this are uh, mainly something to do with passive type of uh, uh, fire protection. So for example, we will identify the corridors. How much is the travel path, exit and exit discharge. What are those things? And uh, for uh, part number four module, we will talk about features of fire protection. Uh, and in uh, four different subtopics, number 12, vertical opening, 13, as of those areas, number 14, interior, finish, contents, and furnishing, number 15, fire alarm, and extinguishing systems. So we'll identify code requirements for those, like for example, expansion joints, escalator openings, and mezzanine. So those are uh, the main things that we're going to discuss in this uh, uh, code, which is a very important NAP 101. It is what we call light safety code. So also, please uh, like, share, and subscribe on our channel, which is called Dr. E.P. Zamurai Engineer. So Dr. E.P. is uh, spelled out as D-R-E-Y-P-E-I. So Dr. E.P. And uh, Zamurai Engineer is uh, spelled as like this, Zamurai with uh, Z instead of S. Zamurai Engineer in one word. So. That is our YouTube channel, and our email is samurai.engineer at gmail.com with our uh, FB account with the following FB slash EP that Z21. Okay, so that's all, and we'll see you on the next videos which will discuss all of those mentioned topics. This is Dr. Rippy, your professor, saying engineering is for nation building.